my YouTube, this is where we at. I always wanted a dually, and every time I pass, come down this road, I see these two beastie dualies on the corner here. This right here is a 15. And this Denali right here is a 15 also. I've always loved the F350s though. I mean, I just love that round wheel well. And I don't know, it just, just looks sexy. I love them F350s. It's about the only Ford vehicle I always said I'd get if I was to get one. Of course you got this Denali with this big old ass on it. So both very nice trucks though. Let's take a look inside of the F350. Oh, it comes with a CB radio. I can be on the interstate talking to a truck driver and stuff. Hey buddy, what you doing? Oh, nothing, just rolling. 39,000 miles on it. Not bad. Let's crank it up, Let's see how it sounds. Sounds good. I feel kind of small in my car. You know, I'm making all these gains. You know, I'm like a flower in a little flower pot. I need room to grow. Have you seen a sunroof in the 2017s though? massive it's like all the way back here so <sighs> I'd love to have one of those sunroofs let's go look around son truck is beautiful all right the main sale point between these two trucks so far is a sunroof i want a sunroof so I, i'm almost already canceling out the denali i love the fender flares on the f-350 i love the leanness with the flares on there opposed to the big old wideness of the Sierra Denali. Which ass look better? You know like when you see a woman from the front? That reminds you more of the F-350. See them sheets right there sticking all out? Yeah. Definitely look better over here on the F-350. Look at all them Mustangs. 3.0s the ones that don't sell that much got a 5.0 over there yep. over here Lafayette Ford though Fairfield North Carolina but I'm about to go in here and see what they're talking about though so I'll get back to you All right, check it out. We just got up in this ride. We're about to see what this thing feel like. Acceleration feeling real nice. Tennis D's ain't no slouch. I'm surprised, but you know, what do you expect? Turbocharged V8 diesel. Man, this truck ain't no joke. Interior not too bad. You take a look, see what's going on in here. Check out how much wheel play I got as far as movement. And I'm in the one lane. That's an awkward feeling. It's already hard enough that the vehicle is so wide. See, just check out how I roll through this traffic in this big old beast. I ain't scared, I ain't scared. True. I'm telling you, I'm hogging all the lane though side to side my mirrors check my mirrors like dang ain't no room for play i gotta have my stuff together 
So if you ready to cop that diesel, you better be ready to control that thing on the road. But I'm definitely enjoying the drive here. I mean, as you can see, this is, I mean, it's pretty nice looking for a truck. I mean, look at it. It's definitely a better, better on the eyes than the, the Nolly is, in my opinion anyway. And I love the, the style of the cluster, you know, it's kind of classic. Not too much digital going on in there, just a bunch of gauges. It's dope, it's dope. If you're used to sitting in the car, it's gonna be different, I'm telling you. It's gonna be a great feeling. Something about being up in the air, looking down. Look at that in my mirror. Another four. I really want to get a truck though. I mean, I was just talking about getting another car not too long ago. Here I am test driving this truck. So it's, it's like, you know how it is when you get that new car fever. It's crazy. You know, you like, uh, should I do it? Should I not do it? Man. So, let's, let's see what it do. We're going to see what it do. What you want all this traffic out here? Take this baby off road, see what it's really capable of. But you know those other videos for that. Right now we just riding in this truck, checking it out. Keep in mind it's a 15, so it's it's a used vehicle, low mileage, 39,000. Original owner, he upgraded to the newest, greatest F350. So hey, you can't knock him for that. Sure. That'll be my best bet, though. You're gonna get a lot more incentives if you were to get a brand new vehicle, more bang for your buck. Especially with the year end closeout, so keep your eyes out for that. A little highway driving in. Got this slow car in front of me. You know, I would have gassed that thing. Nah, I would have dieseled it. Dieseled it up this hill. Ooh, get out the way. All in my way. Alright, let me see. Get over here. This ain't feel good though. I like how I feel. Love sitting up like this. Love dominating the road. Might need to jack this thing up. Alright. Yeah. Just beautiful out there. Look at it. Get out the way, you. Move. Let me get out. Let me go around. You don't see this big old truck behind you? I mean, really? Would it need to be yellow or something? What the heck? We're gonna keep riding though. We're gonna keep riding though. I'll ride behind you. Matter of fact, go around y'all. I'm gonna go around on you. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, you think about getting a dually though on the real? This thing ain't bad. I mean, I like how I feel. Like I said, I always wanted one. I'm gonna get one. It's a matter of when. The bait between this or the Denali 3500 HD. Not quite sure yet, but it's gonna be one of them. You can bet that. You can bet that. Yeah, it's just rolling by these fools, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to make it Those numbers ain't shy. Bet that. He's sitting over there like, okay. He's real comfortable in here. Don't never be scared with a test driver. Remember, his fear is greater than yours. He wants you to be happy. So he's not going to say much. A lot of stern wheel turn for a little on the wheels. Stern ratio not too tight. It should probably tighten that up a bit.
blowing through these lights like what? Rolling like a boss. Gotta say, I'm glad I did this little test drive though. You know, I've been putting it off for a while. I'm so glad, you know, it just gives me that fuel I need to go ahead and do what I do and make this happen. So, definitely got moves in place. I risk we're all safe. Every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. <laughs> yes, sir. We just cruising through Fayetteville, driving the truck, you know, demanding on the road. See that stretch in front of me? Come here! Take my truck. You better take it all too, because it's wide. It's hauling all the lanes. So be ready. Right, jump on this expressway, you know. Head back to our the parting location Lafayette Ford if you don't know by the way check them out they got a pretty nice selection of Mustangs out there and if you want to see a large selection of trucks in a lot you got Crown Ford both located here in Fayetteville North Carolina so definitely check those guys out plenty of Fords for you to choose from definitely don't have to consider well you definitely have to weigh as an option am I going to use this truck to pull something definitely not this thing is like straight luxury I mean, it's going to haul your family around throw all your junk in the back and you're going to get pretty decent fuel economy you get about 24 in the 24 miles per gallon on the highway at a good speed around the city get 18 22 so you know it varies but definitely something you can compare to a luxury car if you are looking for a, a type of trans transportation that you can throw some stuff in the back as well as have a luxury ride so just want to consider for sure so what type of horror stories y'all be hearing about these dualies let me know I want to know. I ask most people, like, what do you think about getting a dually? And they be like, well, you know, if you were in the mud, you might get stuck. Because, you know, it makes three ruts instead of two. You know, some wheel spaces to fix that problem. So that's not too big of an issue. I mean, what else you guys know? I don't know about. That dually is a beautiful truck. Can't go wrong with that. Single rear wheels, they're much simpler, you know, like a big old F-150 on steroids. So, so check it out, man. Going around this curve right here, this thing is handling it so smooth. I mean, you wouldn't even think you want a big old truck this size. It's just crazy, you know, the technology and the advancements they've made in automobiles. It's just crazy. You get a great ride out of a truck was such heavy duty suspension it's sick but you know the short drive has been it's been lovely you know got opportunity to check this thing out see what it's capable of 
not to the fullest extent, but you know, a little dry. I can pull back up in here. And, you know, wrap it on up. But shit, I appreciate you riding with me. You know, we're gonna try to do this some more. Stay tuned in. Be sure to like the video, share it, subscribe. Check out my old stuff. You know, I got plenty of videos on here. You know, I'm trying to build this up. Help me build this up. Let's do this. It's your boy Kurt A. Roll. About to be up out of here. All right.